morning, Patriots. I'm Camden, and this is A Town Today. Here are your morning announcements for Friday, September 6th. Hey, history students, outlining got you down? Come to the Peer Tutoring Center today to learn the secrets of writing an outline efficiently and effectively. Can't make it this week? Stop by any time for friendly assistance. The Tutoring Center is located in room 88 behind the library and next to the attendance window. All are welcome. Are you interested in creative writing, poetry, spoken word, drama, history, or politics? If so, you should join Forensics. Forensics is a competitive speech and debate team that does not, in fact, have anything to do with bones or detective work. If you're new to the school, it's a great way to meet new people. The team itself is a close-knit community, and our coaches are excellent. If anything I've said has at least piqued your interest, but you maybe want to learn a little bit more, come to one of our interest meetings on Wednesday, September 18th, during Patriot period and from four to five after school. And then the next day, Thursday the 19th during Patriot period. We'll go into more depth about what the club is and talk about the additions, which will be held on September 25th from four to seven. I hope to see a lot of you then. The Spanish Honor Society will have its first, first meeting on Tuesday, September 10th during the Patriot period in Senor Verham's room, room two, 224. Sign up for a Patriot period session soon as this is a mandatory meeting in which we will discuss new procedures and rules. Hope to see you there. The first AHS meeting of the year will be on Monday, September 9th during Patriot period in the art room. Please remember to sign up and attend. Are you interested in joining the AHS Dungeons and Dragons Club? There will be an inter a interesting meeting today during Patriot period. The Young Republicans and Conservatives Club will be, will have, will be having an informational meeting on Monday, September 9th, sign up for Patriot Period with Mr. Tarab in room 241. Hey Patriots, do you like discussing political issues? Do you want to make positive changes in the world? If so, there will be a Young Liberals meeting in room 152 on Monday, September 9th during Patriot Period. We will be discussing campaign and volunteering opportunities for the upcoming November elections. We hope to see you there. Attention all Prospective Delegates, the Model United Nations Club will ho be hosting our first meeting in room 229 during Patriot period on Tuesday, September 24th. Come get information about our fall conference and brainstorm other, and brainstorm other ideas of, for the year. See Ms. Parks or Mr. Gambino if you have any questions. Are you interested in being more involved, making a positive difference around AHS, and think you have the necessary traits to lead through service? Then you, can, you should consider running for class officer position. Ninth graders will select three class officers and 10th graders will elect one officer to the vacant position. Elections will occur at the end of this month. There's no time to waste. The November Club is a group dedicated to raising awareness and financial support for men's cancer. If you would like to join us in the cause, please come to room 242 today during Patriot period. Be a part of Movember and support men's cancer awareness. Come to the picnic, the LGBTQ picnic hosted by Seville Pride on Saturday at Washington Park from 2 to 6 p.m. Come meet the new GSA president, Molly Bunce, and the vice president, Crystal Rainey. There will be free food and t-shirts. And now here's Malachi with our first A-Town Today feature. Hi, I'm Malachi. It's a new school year and we have a new principal. Today we sat down with Mr. Bonham to see where he's been and to see what he has planned in the future for the school year. Hi, Mr. Bonham. Thank you for joining A-Town today. Absolutely, Malachi. Glad to be here. Where were you before Albemarle? Where'd you work? So my, I won't go through my long history because I probably bore you to death, but I actually started off in Fairfax and I was at a school, uh, W.T. Woodson, for about a dozen years. I came down here about 13 years ago and I've actually been the director of K-Tech. I was actually assistant principal at Monticello and the last few years I was principal at Western. Okay. Um, where are you from originally? Uh, Salem, Virginia, right outside of Roanoke, uh, southwestern part of the state. And then uh, after I graduated from Salem, I did community college for a couple years and then transferred to JMU. And then uh, a couple years later, got back into um, education by getting certified to teach business and technology. And that's when I got my first job up in Fairfax. Are you a tech fan? You know, I'm a little bit more of a tech fan than a Wahoo fan. And I hate to say that, all right? I just yeah. kind of disclosed myself on air. But growing up, growing up in uh, southwestern Virginia, tech was a little more prominent at that time. But I do root for, root for both to some degree, which I know is kind of an odd thing to do. But 
What, what kind of kid were you in high school? Like, what, what um, extracurriculars were you involved in? So I, for the most part, um, was kind of under the radar as a kid. Uh, I didn't take academics like super serious um, as I probably should have, and I was more interested in athletics. I played a bunch of sports in high school, primarily just played football, um, and got to a point where the light bulb came on a little bit more uh, once I got out of high school when I went to community college, and that's when I realized that I actually could achieve more than I probably put myself towards. So, you know, I didn't go through high school just blazing and, you know, taking the highest level courses. Um, instead, I kind of took a different path, but then once I discovered kind of what I was interested in, what I could do, then I ended up kind of taking off from that point. So what made you want to be a principal? I always thought I'd be a teacher. I was a teacher, I was a coach. I loved that, I loved the interaction it was with kids. I just loved you know, what that energy felt like every day in the classroom. And then at some point, somebody asked me, do you want to get into administration or get a chance where you're able to do things, you know, kind of a different level? And at first I was somewhat apprehensive to that because I really loved what I was doing. And then I thought more about the opportunity, how you can have a, maybe not as much a direct impact, but you can have a greater impact for um, a larger number of students. And so that's really why I jumped in. And since then, having that chance to kind of go up the ladder, obviously you start off as assistant principal, you go up to, you know, through the, through the ranks and become an administrator and become a, a head principal. And it's just, you know, it's just enlightening to me to know that um, there's so many opportunities to have a direct positive influence on kids. What are you into now? Like, what, what, what are your hobbies? Uh, do you have a family? Yeah, so I have uh, two daughters. I have a um, high school and a middle school age daughters. And um, got a golden retriever named Bumper. He's like one of my, uh, uh, my buddies at home. But it's uh, really, um, you know, just you know, obviously, you know, when you have kids, you're into the families when you have time. You know, this job is consuming a lot in terms of the hours. but. Uh, spending time with them. Um, also, I just like to be outdoors, you know, I like yard work, uh, like exercise, things of that nature, just things to uh, stay active, really. On a more serious note, what um, are your expectations for the school year? We want to build a positive atmosphere for our students, that's first and foremost, but to do that, you also have to make sure that those bridges on those other levels are also um, strong and what can we do to make sure that people feel comfortable about the school and feel like that the, it's a place where their, you know, their child's thriving and then from the student's perspective, how are we making sure that, that they feel the same way? And they come in every day, now realize it's school and some days, you know, it's kind of one of those things you're not really sure if you're you know, excited about going to or not, but how do we make it so the experience at each and every period are valuable and feel like that the students have some ownership to that and it feels like it's doing something for them to make them Feel like they're excelling and growing and hopefully getting prepared for where that next step is once they leave. So I know I've seen um, teachers walk around with the Together We're Better shirt on and I'm sure other students have too. Uh, can you explain what that means? That TWB was really something I used back in my coaching days but I've kind of hung on to it a little bit in some of my mantra of what I believe in and so we came here as a staff the very first thing we did on day one well, when the teachers got back is we went to Camp Holiday Trails and did a team retreat almost of like a, a team building bonding kind of experience and so when the staff first got here they had the Albemarle shirts that many of you have seen on the back it says together we're better and there's really just to make sure that we're always reminding ourselves that you know this is a tough job there's all uh, lots of things that kind of get in our way and barriers but at the end of the day how do we value the things that uh, about who we are what we believe in and collectively what we can do together what specifically would you like to see from students um, following through on TWB we had over 1950 students here each one is an individual first and each one brings to the table something unique about themselves. And in many cases we know that because maybe they're on a team or maybe they're in the arts or in the band or other things, but in many cases we don't. And I think, you know, high school's kind of hard, right? There's a lot of things that go into the socialization and just, you know, how you navigate through, uh, you know, nine through 12. But I also think, how do we understand and appreciate the value of what everyone brings to the table? And I think sometimes that's important is just to try to understand that more. And so as we are in our classes, we're in the cafeteria, we're on the bus, how do we get a chance to really understand more about who our classmates are? And how do we sometimes branch out amongst, you know, we all have our social circles. How do we branch out more to get to know about other people and somehow figure out how that can be somebody that maybe um, I haven't had a chance to, you know, get to know and maybe adds value to my world in some way or at least 
makes them feel more welcomed um, and creates more of a community. Because I think at the end of the day, this is a really cool, unique um, community. It's almost like a little small town when you come in here every day. We're going to have disagreements. We're going to have different viewpoints. All that's fine. Uh, but at the end of the day, right, we're patriots. And how do we make that a part of yeah. really what's the core of who we are? Uh, last question. It's very serious to, to me and, and a lot of the people in the student body. Okay. So coming from Western, you're, that, that's the number one like enemy for, or not uh, enemy, rival for album rock. Right. So how can we tell you're a patriot and not a warrior? How can you tell I'm a patriot, not a warrior? All right. Uh, well, I think by my actions alone, you'll see that because you'll see me present in a lot of ways, whether it's in the hallways, where, you know, obviously at school, but you'll see me present at events and activities. Uh, you won't find anyone rooting any harder for our teams and our competitions in terms of uh, me doing that for Albemarle. Uh, and I guess the other side is if you, down to the core, if you, uh, you know, prick my finger, I would bleed red. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Absolutely. Thank you. I'm Malachi. Thank you for watching 8 Town today. See you next time. The golf team beat Fluvanna, Monticello, and Charlottesville in a quad match yesterday. Vivian He was the medalist with a 39, Robert Brosey was next with a 40, Jack Kelly 43, and Mia Lang 45 were the other counting scores. That is all for now. Have a great day.